All right, try this again. So it looks a little different, it looks a little weird. It's a little itty bitty door, so this is the size to fit the frame. I'm just shocked and embarrassed at how badly I screwed that up, but uh, moving in the right direction. I, I think proportionality looks okay. Um, once it's put in place, I think most of the bottom of this isn't really gonna be seen, so I think it's gonna look fine. So functionally, we should have a nice strong door. I think the hinges are pretty well set now. There's gonna be some minor adjustment of the fit. Uh, so the next major steps, I'm gonna start working on uh, installing the handle and the lock, uh, deadbolt as well. I might even put on an interior, like an external gate latch, but on the inside of the door. This one actually opens into uh, the basement, uh, the way it's set up, but embarrassed, but uh, I think we've recovered adequately. We're gonna end up with a good sturdy door. So onwards and upwards from here. So here I am just opening up a dock box set for an external door lock. So this particular kit I got has both a lock uh, as well as a deadbolt. And this kit comes with a template. So you cut the template out and depending on the thickness of your door, you place that on and choose the spots uh, that sets up exactly where to drill for your through holes. So now simply using an awl onto the marks that they give me based on the thickness of my door, I just place a starting point there that's going to guide my drill bit in a couple minutes. And then using those points, drill a through hole using an eighth inch drill bit. So the next step then is to drill through holes using a 2 and a 1 8 inch hole saw. So at this point I decided to switch from my cordless to a corded drill which has a little bit more guts. And the hole saw was super dull, so it kept getting really hot and burning the wood. You can see the color of the sawdust there uh, looks a little bit more like charcoal than, than what you would expect for sawdust coming out of cedar. So I got out my Dremel to do a quick and dirty sharpen, so I didn't do a great job. You know, I really should have read it vertically and used a file to, to do a really good job, but this is more than adequate to get this job done for now. I just used this grinding bit to try to put a nice square face on the front of each of the teeth. And now with a much sharper hole saw. It cuts like butter. And it's not getting nearly as hot as it did before when it was so dull. And look at the difference in the color of the sawdust that's being created now as it's running much cooler and sharper. So the depth of cut on my hole saw wasn't quite enough to get halfway through from each side. So using a router and a plunge bit, I just removed some of the depth in each of these two holes from one side. Then in a process that should have been finished with far fewer steps, I finish off each of these two through holes.
The perpendicular holes are cut with a one inch hole saw. I happen to have one with carbide teeth that makes a nice clean cut. Next on the door frames, I need to prepare them for the strikes, and part of that is creating a mortise for the latch to go down into, so this is just done with a Forstner bit. As I work on these, I keep checking for depth with a caliper. So the face plates for both the lock and the deadbolt are mortised into the side of the door such that they end up being flush. So I simply mark them out here and then route out the mortise so that they fit. So using an eighth inch straight bit here and my palm router, I route out the space either using the world's quietest palm router or maybe someone forgot to turn on the microphone. So here I've marked and I'm preparing to route out the mortises for the strike plate for both the lock as well as the deadbolt. Because the strike plates are of different thicknesses, I have to adjust the depth of the router bit to make sure that it's going to sit flush once I complete the mortise. At this point, we're getting really close to done. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it.